Hey guys, so welcome back to Valheim. In a previous video, I showed you how to install mods on Valheim without the use of a mod manager. This video is going to show you how to use mods. Mods like uh, having an equipment section in your inventory, as well as mods that increase the stacks of items that you can hold and slightly decreases their weight by, well, 10 times their amount. You don't have to use all the mods. There's a bunch of cool ones out there that I really recommend, like a sorting action one, which will sort all your items below your hotbar, which is great. So if you have a messy inventory, or even if you have a messy chest you're able to actually just go in there click the sort button and boom everything's nice and neat but the main reason you're here for this video is to see how you do all of these mods with an automatically updated mod manager that will update your mods and make sure everything is good and nifty and you can swap between the vanilla version of the game and a modded version of the game just by a simple click which is great so let's go show you how to do that so once again, I have sent you a link in the description below that you can click that will take you to the Valheim.Thunderstore.io website page. Now this is a website that you're able to get Valheim mods, but what you can actually do is just simply enough get this first one over here that you can find a link to specifically. It is called R2 Modman. Basically, this is the mod maker. So we're going to click this one here and we're going to open it up here. It's important to know that R2 Modman is not a mod itself. It's a mod manager. It's more of an application that you're going to install that is going to be able to download mods and load them into your game. So click manual download here. Just save the file to your downloads folder. The file size for this is 132 megabytes. So just wait for it to finish downloading. Once the file is downloaded, go to your download folder, go right click and use WinRAR or WinZip depending what program you're using to extract the files. Just extract here. Once you've extract the files, you'll see there are a few files in here for some reason. All we need is this first one over here, the one that says .exe. This is the R2 Modman setup file. So you're going to double click this one. You're going to install it to the any location you want to install it on your computer. It's quite simple. Go through all the clicks. I've already done this, so just install that. And then once it is done, you can actually delete these and go to your desktop where you will find a new shortcut called R2 Modman. So open R2 Modman and you'll actually be prompted with selecting which game you want. So pick which game you want, Risk of Rain 2, Dyson Sphere Program, Valheim, and just select Valheim, make sure it's highlighted in blue, click Select Game. It will do this little kind of like preview page. You can make a profile here. You can either just stick with default or make one. I made one for some reason. You just have to click it, it's selected in blue, click Select Profile to go inside. And then you can see these are my installed mods. On your screen, these should already be kind of like empty. So what you're going to do is actually go to this online section here. And these are mods that are actually online. And you're going to basically use the sorting function over here to go like the download count to see the most downloaded mods on the game. And you can sort through here to find what mods you're interested. Like, for example, the one that we already installed previously, the better UI. You click this and you can see it adds minor edits to the UI. If you want more information than that, you can actually click the view on website. That will actually take you to the web page when you click it and you can scroll down and get an idea of what the mod does. Like this one, obviously we talked about it in our previous video. It shows the durability of the weapons. It adds as, as colors instead of the levels showing as numbers, they actually show as stars for all of your items. And you can kind of see all sorts of things here that might help if you're trying to change some information. So back to the program. So in the program here, if you are happy with a, a mod, like, okay, cool. The better UI one, I want it. I'm going to click the download button. When you download it, it will automatically install it. So you can see better UI is here. It's installed in the installed section. If you want to uninstall something or take it off, you can actually go in here and you can click disable if you just want to disable it. Or if you want to uninstall and delete it completely, you can just click uninstall. Now, it's important to know that because this mod manager will find the updates for mods in the game, when you see this little cloud icon, you can see there it says an update is available. All you have to do is click the cloud icon and it will actually just open it much like just clicking it normally. And there will be an update button right to the right side here and you can just update it, download with the dependencies and you just let it download and update that mod. And this is how you're going to be updating your mods if they do have updates as you're playing the game. So let's go update both of them quickly. There we go. Both of our mods are up to date. Looks like everything is up to date. All my mods are loaded here. Pretty great. Got some awesome ones here. You can actually read the names if you are looking for some interesting ideas of how to play a modded Valheim game. And there's lots to choose from in the online section here, as I mentioned before, because there's mods being made all the time, like a first person mod, a map table with your map on it, which is pretty damn cool. So many different things, which are pretty cool to try out and test. 
So when you install a mod, just make sure it is in this section over here. If you don't want it anymore, you can just click it, uninstall it. If you think it's a problem or you think one mod is working against another, because some of the mods might conflict with each other because they might use the same information and they're both like telling it to do this and that one's telling it to do that and it might not work. So try and make sure that your mods work together. And if they aren't, try loading your mods one at a time until something breaks. And if something breaks, you'll know which mod broke it because it will be the last one that you loaded. Now, in order to actually start your game with the mods here, you can actually just go to the top left section of this kind of application here. You'll see Start Modded will actually open up the game with the modded version, so using all of these mods. But if you click Start Vanilla, it will actually open up the game without using any of the mods. There is one warning that I have for you guys. If you are playing modded and then you suddenly want to play vanilla, be very careful with certain mods that you have here. For example, like the equipments and quick slots, as well as the item stacks. Now the equipments and quick slots mod adds the kind of equipment as a different own section and quick slots as a Z, V and B for your potions. But now if you take this mod off by clicking, like let's say just start vanilla, it will open up your, your game. And if you go into the same world that you had all your armor on, I mean your same character, all the armor that you had on might actually disappear because the mod's not there anymore so that it might actually just delete everything that was supposed to be there because the game's not going to remember that the, the mod was storing your armor there it's just going to be like oh you don't have no armor dude so be careful if you suddenly go from modded to vanilla with stuff like this. Make sure you take your equipment and your quick slot items off before and put them in a chest or somewhere safe before actually going and playing vanilla again. The main reason why you're going to need vanilla is if you're playing on multiplayer servers that don't have the same mods. And something like item stacks where it changes the item stacks to 10 times more than its original. So for example, instead of carrying 50 stone, you can put 500 stone. If you take this mod off, I'm actually not sure if it just deletes all 500 stone of that stack or if it actually just changes it from 500 to 50 stone. So I'm actually not sure. I don't want to test that because I'm actually trying to play the game <laughs> without losing all my stuff. And yeah, that's just all you should really be careful about when you're swapping between modded and vanilla. And yeah, when you first start playing modded and you open up these mods for the first time, you can open up the config editor, which actually lets you change how some of these mods work. For example, let's say the the um, the item stacks, right? We're going to go into the item stacks one here and we're going to click edit config. So you can read these things here like crafting with containers, better UI, item stacks one. Edit config. So if you scroll down on this one in particular, you can see like there's the stone stack size, for example, it's all the items here, like literally every type of item. This is the stone stack size. This actually changes how much the stack of stone you can carry. So if you want to set it back to 50 again, just make sure that you don't actually have stacks of 500 lying around because something bad will happen to those. Alternatively, if you want to carry like 500,000 stone like in, <laughs> in, in one slot, I mean, you can do that as well, but I doubt you're going to have the carry weight for that. You can actually use this config editor to change all the things and when you're ready and you're, you're, you're happy you can just click save I'm not going to save I'm just going to click cancel and you can see the rest of the configs all over here if you want to change though this is more advanced if you want to change your experience to what you want to experience in the game so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a blast learning about how to use the mod manager in Valheim while I just casually show my base that I'm so proud of and I'm so happy with and I haven't figured out how the blast furnaces or the windmills work because I'm still working on the Yagluth boss, the final boss in the game and how to kill him and everything as the tutorials I've been making. So I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.